Hi, my name is Dan Lynch. I'm a wildlife education specialist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. And what I'm going to do today is talk to you a little bit about the eastern wild turkey. We're going to talk a little bit about the adaptations and the differences between both males and females. And then we're going to give you an activity that you can do at home during this COVID-19 scare. And that's real simple. It's something that's it's primarily set up for little kids. But let's talk about turkeys first. So the turkey mount that I have here um, is an example of a female turkey or a hen. And you can tell that it's a hen uh, simply because of the size of the head, which is kind of small, um, and the fact that it does not have the, some of the features that I'm going to show you on, on the male turkey. Also, each one of its body feathers is tipped in brown, where if it was a male turkey, each one of its body feathers would be tipped in black. So this is definitely a female turkey. Now, uh, I've got a, uh, just the head of a, a male turkey, and this is just a replica. And you can see some of the differences. In the springtime, um, in April right now, you're gonna, the males are really gonna be showing a lot of coloration in their head. They're gonna have a lot of white, blue, and red, and it's gonna be really, really bright because they're doing this to attract the females. So they get a lot of blood that flows up into the head, and they've got some weird things on them. The, one of the first things you might notice are these little bumps down here. And these are called uh, his caruncles. Uh, this little flap right here is called the waddle. And this weird thing right here that kind of goes down over top of the beak is called the snood. And during the springtime when they are gobbling and strutting around and trying to look cool for the girls, these things really get inflamed, engorged with blood and it's, it's a showy thing to try to display to the hens. And if you see the hen, she's kind of dull. She's got a little bit of blue here. It's kind of pink, not bright red here. And her snood is really, really tiny. So these are some of the differences between the, the males and the females besides uh, their feathers. Um, I also have a, a fan here. And this is a fan from a male turkey. Um, and one of the things that you can tell about this is that it is an adult male turkey. Uh, an adult male has all of his tail feathers are the same height. Where if he was a young guy, which we would call a jake, only the middle five or six feathers would be really tall. And then the side ones would be a little bit shorter. So uh, this is just an example of a fan. And fans are kind of cool. Um, so what we wanted to do was show you an activity that you could do at home with some young kids where the kids could kind of make their own uh, turkey headband with a fan. And uh, it's pretty simple. All you really need is two pieces of construction paper, some cardboard to make a template out of, and I happen to use this cereal box, and I cut a template out to make the tail feathers. Um, and you need uh, some scissors, tape. I did the whole thing with tape, but you could use glue if you had a good glue stick. You might need a ruler, a marker, um, and for the eyes, instead of make, making a, using a marker or a pen right here, if you have those little glue-on craft eyes, you could put them on there as well. Um, you also need something to make a circle so that you can make the head. In this case, I just used this mug. So I'll kind of show you on, the, on here. Basically, there's two pieces, and if you put them together like this, it makes it a lot easier. You can get all your tail feathers exactly the same. So I put my template on here, and I traced it out. And when I cut these, I'm gonna have two here and two there. So, you know, you can make as many tail feathers as you want, but I just decided to go with four. I also made a little shape on here, um, kind of looks like a peanut or a, a figure eight, and that's gonna be for the turkey snood. I just took and cut, made the, put the ruler and cut it across here to make the beak. And I kind of folded the beak a little bit there and taped it on so it kind of sticks out. Um, if you keep your two pieces of paper together and you draw something with feathers out here, kind of like to make the wing, and when you cut them, you'll have two identical feather, uh, wings. And then, like I said, I put the uh, mug on here and traced it around and cut. You only need one of those, obviously, for the head. So basically, the other thing that I did was, um, um, actually, you need, you need a, uh, a, a third piece of construction paper because you need to make the headband. So basically, I just folded the headband down and cut it in half and folded it in half again and taped it till I had a round headband. Um, and this is kind of small, it's only designed for a kid, um, and, but you can adjust it and tape it or glue it however you want. Something really simple that you can do at home. 
You don't need to go out and buy anything, most likely. Everything you probably have is at home. Um, just thought it'd be something kind of cool for you to do. This activity comes from this really cool book um, called Growing Up Wild. It's a curriculum book put out by Project Wild. And uh, the actual book um, is called Growing Up Wild. And Growing Up Wild is for pre-K to second grade uh, age kids. And this is just one activity, um, um, one uh, activity that you can do in the activity called Terrific Turkeys. So it's really cool. So you want to check out things like hashtag Project Wild or go to projectwild.org. And in Pennsylvania, Project Wild is coordinated by DCNR and Pennsylvania State Parks. So you want to check out their website. Last thing you want to check out is the Game Commission's website, www.pgc.pa.gov. We've got all kinds of stuff in there about wildlife, not just about turkeys, but about the other 479 species that we have in Pennsylvania. So um, have some fun, uh, stay safe, and we'll talk to you later.